Your views on, on Imam Ghazali and Tasawwuf. This was a question. Uh, yeah, so um, I highly love and respect Imam Ghazali, rahimahullah, and uh, consider him one of the great imma of Islamic history, Hujjat al Islam, and uh, his Ihya um, Ulum al Din, revival of the religious sciences. This is a landmark work and has had such a huge impact. And also his intellectual work against the Falasifa and Ibn Sina. Um, this is a huge contribution to uh, Islamic intellectual history and spirituality. So um, I have a lot of love and respect for the great Imam. Rahmatullahi uh, mm -hmm. alayhi. But as for Tasawwuf, also, you know, this is a critical part of Islam. Um, you can call it tasawwuf, you can call it tazkiyat, tazkiyat mm. and nafs. Mm. Um, this is something extremely, extremely important. And if you neglect, and what is, what is tasawwuf? Um, you know, my definition is that you are controlling the state of your heart and you are, you are disciplining the state of your heart and your nafs. And this is critical, so critical, especially for anyone who is involved in public speaking or as an imam or a scholar or a student of knowledge. You have to, you have to, have to. It's a requirement on every Muslim, actually, to understand certain principles about the nafs and, and purifying the heart, protecting yourself from uh, hasad, for example, protecting yourself from a kind of... Um, you know, hatred that is not justified of people, um, arrogance, kibber, takabbur. Um, you have to uh, have ikhlas. You have to strive for ikhlas. You have to strive for taqwa. You have to strive for khushur. Like these states of the heart, these values are so critical. Uh, and it's, a, it's fard. You have to, like, it's obligatory mm -hmm. on Muslims to protect themselves and protect their hearts because this, these are the things that destroy um, like you can have all the amal, you can have all of, you know, the right beliefs, even aqaid, you can have the right beliefs um, and actions. But because of kibber, uh, you are thrown in the hellfire or because of the wrong niya, because of the wrong intention, you are thrown in the hellfire. And this is very clear. This is very clear in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is, there's no doubt that this mm. is. Uh, a requirement for every Muslim to purify their heart. And there are different uh, ways of going about it, uh, different paths and different, uh, just like there are different madahib uh, in fiqh that concern um, the amal of Islam. And just like there are different books uh, of aqidah um, that you can study to make sure to, that you have the correct aqidah. In Islam, you have the right beliefs. Um, there are also things to keep you on the right track with you in terms of your nafs, controlling your nafs and controlling the states of your heart. And that mm -hmm. is like the tradition of tasawwuf. And scholars across all manahij have written about uh, tazkiyah and tasawwuf. Uh, Ibn al-Qayyim, for example, uh, very significant, rahimahullah, um, in the Athari tradition, for example. Mm. And uh, many, many others. Ibn Rajab al Hambali. So this is mm. a very well established and, and known tradition. And only someone who's ignorant about Islam would reject the Sawwuf and Tazkiyah. Like mm. this is something that it cannot be neglected by mo any Muslim, but mm. especially someone who is speaking publicly and has that kind of position because you are constantly faced with kibber, the, the danger of kibber. We constantly um, face with the um, problem with niya. Like, are, is your intention really for the sake of Allah or is it for, you know, standing before people and, you know, people praising you and saying, oh, you're so smart. Like, is that really your intention? So this can destroy uh, your, all of your work and can end up, you know, leading to you being thrown in the hellfire. So may Allah protect us from that and may Allah uh, keep us safe from the fire. Amen. Amen.